Hi, my name is Chris Matthew. I'm the Director of Business Development for Voxeo Labs, the creators of Tropo, Phono, SMSified, IMified, and all sorts of really creative communications technologies. Um, I wanted to walk you through a brand new feature we added to SMSified. We call it the API Explorer from the good folks uh, of Apogee. So uh, let me show you how it works. So if you look at, uh, if we click on the account here, first thing we'll need to do is uh, make a copy of our phone number, just make a note of our phone number. This is the SMS phone number attached to my application and uh, you'll need it when you're interacting, when you're sending messages, etc. because you're allowed to have multiple phone numbers attached to your account to do different things. Uh, so we'll make a note and I just uh, dropped it here on my notepad so I've got it, I've got it handy, we can come back and reference it. So how do you get to the API Explorer? Well, you go to Documentation, and then there's a new little uh, tab here at the top called API Explorer. Um, this is really cool because, you know, the, the whole SMSified uh, platform is built on a REST API. Not only just a, a, a REST API, but an awesome REST API uh, that's, that's uh, a standard to the one API, uh, which, which is a, um, an SMS proposed REST API um, kind of designed to commoditize SMS, which is what we're trying to do. Make it very simple and affordable and powerful for developers to add SMS to their applications. Um, so let's send a message. Um, so basically to do this, you'll have to uh, authenticate one time. So you go ahead and enter your information, your credentials here into the Apogee uh, API Explorer and then you can play with any of the methods in our API. So if we wanted to send a message, let's click uh, send SMS and you'll notice that, that there is a request and a response and kind of a URL bar here. So it wants to know the sender address. So this is your, like your caller ID. This is the number that uh, we just copied uh, from our account. And then you, this little gear icon is kind of how you enter parameters and things like you know the actual message itself. So that that's the, the trick to API Explorer. You've got this URL wherever you see the the curly braces. That's where it's looking for input from you. And then this uh, gear has extra parameters that you can play with. So let's send a text message to my mobile number four three six eight. We'll say the message will say uh, SMSified rocks. And then this notify URL, this is if you want a status to ping you back to a URL um, of the delivery status. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that one off. Hit OK and hit post. And here's my phone. Oh, there it is. SMSified rocks. Okay, so that was pretty simple. If you look at my uh, API console, you'll see that it gave me um, a couple of things. So it gave me um, a, uh, a request ID, which I'm going to go ahead and copy also to my notepad here in case we need it. Let's let's look at the. Um, so if we had the the, the notify URL um, in there it would have replied back to our web application with this delivery status. But let's go ahead and check it out here anyway. So we click that and here's the request ID we just copied in the API URL. And then uh, here's the phone number that we need to put in as a sender address. And I don't think there's any parameters but let's look. Nope, no parameters. And just do a get. There it is. So uh, the message came back. It says uh, delivery status is delivered to network. Status code zero, which means successful. There's the phone number information, and there's the message I sent, SMSified rocks, and it was outbound. So that that's pretty cool. So if you wanted to do things like um, always, you know, never worry about the notify URL, and always um, just get requests or uh, back to your um, kind of callbacks back to your website you can uh, subscribe to uh, message statuses on sends so and view and delete so 
This gives you an easy way to integrate your application to get those notifications automatically back. And the, the same is very much similar for inbound SMS. So um, you can subscribe uh, a number, like your phone number. You can come in and say, okay, that phone number, uh, every time I, I have a, a message um, received on, on this phone number, you want to sign our application. Um, someone just texted me again. Um, the, uh, the notify URL is going to be your callback URL. You fill this in one time, and every time you get an inbound SMS, it will automatically call the URL of your choice on your application. So that's amazingly simple to receive SMS messages. So let me show you the reporting. So I mean, I think we just covered everything about uh, sending and receiving SMSs. And um, you can play with it right here in this API Explorer without uh, writing a line of code, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but also, like reporting, if you wanted to view all messages uh, sent, I don't think there's an API. Yep, there's no parameters on that. You just do a get. Comes back with all messages sent. And here is our SMSified rocks right at the top. Um, you could do this as an individual message. So there's the message ID again. We could say, just I just want to know about this one individual message. You know, you're logging this in your database. You change the URL there. You hit get, and it will fetch just that one message. There it is, SMSified rocks. And what one other really cool thing, like you know, if if you're if you wanted to share with another developer, you know, uh, what your uh, request looks like uh, versus your response, and not show the credentials, you can basically uh, share the response uh, here by sending them this link. That will basically give them all of the request response data JSON without sharing your credentials and without them having to do the API themselves. So that's really handy for troubleshooting. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show you was this filtered by date. Um, if you wanted to like give a date range type of a, a report, you can come back in here and uh, give it a date range. And again, no uh, parameters there. Hit get. And now you've got a, a, a range of all the SMS messages, you know, activity that you've sent or received in that, that date range. So I would encourage you to um, give our new SMSified API Explorer a spin. I think you'll really find it uh, to be very handy and powerful in your application development efforts. So until next time, have fun texting.